Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here. We're back in the shave den and it's good to be home. It's Saturday, I hope you're doing good. And today I'm gonna to be trying out a new aftershave from Versace, Versace, sorry. Well, I pronounce things differently, like Omegas. Uh, people in Britain say Omega, I say Omega. So anyhow, we're gonna be trying out uh, Versace Eros today. And I'm almost, almost having a complete Italian shave, but uh, there are some items that are not quite Italian. But uh, one that is, is uh, TFS on Arancio Armaro, Amaro, Amaro. I'm terrible, I don't speak Italian, I'm sorry. I have used this soap about five years ago. And this review is mainly on the aftershave. It's not really on the soap, but if you want to see more details, you can look back in my previous uh, videos and you can see this. But uh, I've had it for a while and I'm ready to use it. Also from Italy, the Fatip Open Comb. I haven't used this model. I've been using the uh, special edition one, but I'm going to be using this today. And one of the first brushes I got when I started doing shave videos, uh, comes from Italian Barber, and they had like a limited edition uh, Italian shave brush uh, with bore, and I've used this before. Again, you can look back on some of the previous videos. Five years worth. I can't believe I've been doing this for five years, but I will be using this bore brush today, and I will be putting it in here, in the crystal skull, to soak as we prepare for the shave. Now, the only really non-Italian item is the Wilkinson Sword Gillette from India that I'm gonna be using today. As I'm using an open comb razor, I wanna have a little bit of a mild shave. And if you're looking and saying, does he really need a shave? Yeah, I can use one. All right, so welcome. It's good to be back. All right, let us load this razor. Still got the uh, rubber bushing on that. I have two Fatip Piccolo razors and uh, I do like to bring them out. I do like to rotate all of my products that I've, that I've collected or used throughout the years. And I do like to rotate them. And a lot of times off camera, you won't, uh, you won't see me doing the shaves, but I am, I am trying them out. Very good. So got the blade there. It's nice to be back. It was 69 degrees as I just checked outside in Huntington Beach right now. It's going to be in the 70s today, but man, 111 last week. That was just crazy. We have that ripping. Now, I guarantee I'm going to spill all over the shirt. So let me pause this a second and take this off. There we go. That guy means business. We're ready to rock with that. Now, I did cheat a bit, guys. I opened this up today and I put a little bit of the, af this is aftershave. So you know aftershave kind of disperses a little quicker than Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum or Cologne. So, uh, but it's been a couple of hours and it still lasted pretty good. And my wife says that it's got a little bit of a scent like uh, Cool Waters by Davidoff. Dad of, uh, Davidoff, there we go. I didn't get that vibe, but she says, that's what she gets. Now, it does come in a pretty cool presentation bottle. And although I've linked Versace uh, webpage on here, you can pick this up on Amazon. You can pick it up on eBay. You can pick it up Macy's. You can pick it up a lot of places. And this is, this is running, you can find them on sale between, you know, $45 and, you know, like $75. So for the aftershave, it's not too bad. It does have a pretty good presentation. Pretty good presentation. Pretty cool looking container. And it's a splash. So it's not a bad cologne bottle to have sitting on your collection. So we're gonna be trying this out today and this is the, this is the base of the shave. All right. Gonna open up the soap here. Wet the face a little bit. So I was in Vegas, so my wife could go see Morrissey and uh, 
with my daughter and I was hanging out with my daughter's boyfriend and then we flew back Sunday and he tested positive for COVID on Sunday evening. So I've been locked up here again, but I took the test Monday negative. I took the test Wednesday or Thursday negative. And I actually, that's why I'm in such a good mood. I've been kind of on edge last month because it, I have a six month checkup every uh, to see how my kidneys are doing. I had to give up alcohol all those years ago. Man, I was having some kidney problems. But it's been many years, 20 years now, since I've been dealing with this, and I got good results again. So I'm very, very, very happy. So I'll be able to be de devoting more time to the videos and less stress. Stress is a terrible thing, guys. All right. Now, I was looking back, and I think it's been five years since I've used this soap. And it's the same soap. So I'm not even sure. I see they make refills for this scent, but I didn't see brand new tubs. So, hey, for all I know, she's been discontinued, and I know you're not going to be able to find this anymore unless you're looking in the used market. But Ita unless Italian barbers re-release them. Kind of nice to have the, the colors of the flag on the handle. And I didn't go to that content concert at Caesar's Palace at the Coliseum, Morrissey. My wife and daughter did. And they said everything was going good. And then it was his last show in Vegas. And some idiots ran, you know, jumped the stage. And my, uh, my family said that uh, one guy tried to punch him. So he just, he walked off. You know, he, he had done most of his set. He was going to do the encores. Uh, fans just got out of control. What do you want to climb on the stage to do? What, what, what do you really think is going to happen? I, I, I just don't know it. Now the soap, as I said, this isn't a soap review, but this is excellent soap. And this is five years old and it's still working great. So if you keep them in a cool, dry place, keep, the, keep them sealed, you're going to get good results. All right. Batip open comb. Yeah. A lot of good quality in these. Have you guys tried out like their newer models or their newer releases? I'd be curious to know how they are. And again, this aftershave, I, I think I got it off eBay or it might've been Amazon, but I, I know I paid un, just under 50 bucks for that. And in today's market, you know, with aftershaves and everything at Macy's running 50 to a hundred bucks, it's not a bad deal. I have all the technical data. Versace Eros was released in originally in 2012. And the top notes are mint, green apple, and lemon. The mid notes are tonka bean and geranium. And the base notes are vanilla, cedar, and oak moss. It does have a very good smell, very good scent. But I wore it for two hours and it's starting to, I don't quite smell it as, uh, as strong. So if you wanted a much longer scent profile, then I would suggest the Uday uh, Toilette or Uday Parfum. They do last a lot longer. Man, the razor and the soap and the blade perform flawless. No cuts. And I'm saving the goat to shave off with a razor, that an upcoming razor. It's kind of cool to grow it and shave it off. All right. That's the third time in four weeks that I've been exposed to COVID by somebody in my family. And uh, I've had to quarantine or keep away from people that wear a mask when I go out. And that stuff, that COVID is out there in force now in the United States. I don't know how it is in Europe, but uh, man, and I guess it's very easy to catch. But my son, got through it with no problems, my daughter with no problems, and my daughter's boyfriend 
it was barely like two days that he had the symptoms and tested positive and then it went negative again. So it's a very quick, quick one, luckily for them. I stayed at Caesar's Palace and I was walking through the Caesar's Mall and I'm telling you, they got Gucci, they have Versace, they have, uh, you know, Creed, they have all these uh, high-end stores. And the number one box I saw people carrying around were Nikes. Yeah, they had Nike, people were going into that Nike store buying limited edition or Nike Air Force Ones. And man, I saw one guy at Caesar's Palace had the, uh, the Bellman with a cart and he had bags and it had to have been maybe a dozen pairs of Nikes new in the box. So <laughs> of all things that are popular at that mall, Nikes. And I don't know what type, but uh, I did go into the store and they say those Air Force One and those Jordans are uh, very collectible and desirable. Very nice, very nice. Okay, shave went exactly as expected. Let me, I always keep the uh, tray full of the uh, water here. Let me rinse out this brush. People always say, you never show you cleaning your items off. All right, just getting rid of the soap off the brush. Getting the soap off the brush so I can wipe, wipe wet my face in. And I know, soap in the ear. All right. Saw Elvis last night, not in person. Saw the movie with Tom Hanks and uh, man, it was a good movie. I didn't realize I've seen the Kurt Russell, you know, biopic that uh, Kurt Russell was Elvis back in the, God, it must have been the 80s or 70s, and that was a good version, and, you know, 3,000 Miles to Graceland with Kurt Russell again, but it was a, a good movie, very long, seemed like it was about three hours, it was very long, but, uh, man, it was kind of cool to see actual footage of Elvis at the end, and, uh, you know, up on stage in Vegas, and, man, it been great to see him. I think my aunt saw him, uh, back in the early 70s, but uh, man, never had the chance. It would have been fantastic. Now you can see them in the tribute shows, legends in concert. All right, Versace, Eros. Very good. Ooh, that's a lot. Comes out quick. Oh, 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 oh. She has alcohol in it, girls and boys. It's got a good burn. Whew. And a really, really nice scent. I'm going to have to, looking back there, I'm going to have to put it on display, maybe. Find room. I'll find room back there. Got to go back there with a the cool creed and all the other good stuff that I've got. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching, and it's good to be back here, and it's good to be in good health. I tell you, stress levels are almost gone. Happy days again. So thank you very much for tuning in. I do like the scent. I do like it. It's not too strong. And again, my wife says it's got a little bit of that, uh, that Davidoff cool water scent to it. I, I I won't swear to that, but uh, it's not as over. It's not one where you're going to, like, Eternity. You wear Eternity by Calvin Klein, and everybody in that room knows you're wearing Eternity. This is a little more subtle, and I'm very curious to see how the Uday Toilet uh, holds up. I might have to add that to my collection next. And again, it was less than $50 for the bottle. Looks like they average about $50 to, to $80, depending on where you go. But uh, if you haven't tried it yet, a good thing for your collection. All right. Until next time, have a great weekend. This is Ken Surf saying 
Bye for now.